There is a wide variety of project management tools in the workplace today. Although large enterprise-level tools such as Primavera or Project Server are powerful, many project managers find them to be overly complex, and they may or may not match the type of methodology you and your organization use. Other personnel that need to interact with projects are also many times lost or intimidated by these tools because of their complexity. Other organizations don't invest in this type of tool at all, so their project managers rely on much more manual tools like Excel. That is a lot of work, and it makes it very difficult both to collaborate on and to report across projects. Fortunately, the native set of features in SharePoint 2010, and to a lesser degree even SharePoint 2007, provide some great tools that help bridge the gap between Excel and the big enterprise-level project management systems. SharePoint can be as simple to use and customize as a spreadsheet, but it is infinitely easier to roll up reports across projects, and everything in SharePoint, of course, is built for collaboration and security. SharePoint is also an enterprise-level tool itself. It is likely already implemented in your company, as well as backed up and managed by IT. As an added advantage, if you consider yourself a power user in Excel, Access, or Project, all of the data is accessible for use there as well. In this series of videos, you'll learn how to build a project portal like the one you see here. Now, since everyone's needs are a little different, you may not build something exactly like this example. However, it is a great vehicle for illustrating how to use SharePoint to solve your business problems as a project manager. And you'll likely find it to be a great starting point for your use as well. Let's take a look around. What we're looking at here is a list of all current projects. You'll notice, however, that it's just a summary. All we see are the vital statistics, so to speak, about an existing project. Let's click on the Storm the Castle project so we can get a little more detail. This is a project workspace. It's a SharePoint site dedicated to managing and reporting on the project we just saw represented in the summary list on the previous page. The home page here is again meant as kind of a summary and a communication tool for the project team, and anyone else for that matter who may want a little more detail about what's going on. Now the heart of most project management is usually the tasks that make up the timeline. You'll notice we have a project task list that shows up with a Gantt chart right out of the box. It also differentiates between planned and actual date values, showing whichever is more current in the Gantt chart. Any changes that are made here automatically post to the project summary on the home page of this workspace, and then also up to the combined project master list on the Project HQ site above. Notice also that we have a Scrum style storyboard that can be used if we are having a Scrum team doing daily updates in our project. So for instance, we could specify that this task that is currently in progress is now done very, very easily. In addition, we have in our project task list a view called Sprint Planning that would help that Scrum team to put together and plan and start their next sprint. There is also a Sprint History list that would give them an idea of their history over time. Notice that we also have other tools over here in the left-hand navigation that can help us to manage the many other parts of a project including a project events list or a calendar that can help us to share deadlines that are within the project, as well as calendar items that may be from elsewhere in our SharePoint portal. We also have a project announcements list and a discussion forum that can help us to communicate with our project team using things that are a little more functional and feature rich than just email. You'll notice we also have a list that helps us to track risks both before and after they become issues. And we have an action items list that helps us to manage and track tasks that may not be directly related to the timeline that's formed by the project task list, but may still need to be managed and tracked. We also have a document library so that we have a place to store all the documents that are related to this project. Yes, this workspace really becomes the central place for your entire project team to work together as the project progresses. When it's time to start a new project, that is very quick and easy to do as well. 
Here we're on the Parent Project HQ site, and if we need to add another project, we merely go to Site Actions, click New Site, and you'll notice there's a new project workspace here where we can create a Project 5. Make a couple of navigation choices. And here is our new workspace. Notice it has only generic information in the project summary, but if we click on the title, we can choose to edit and put in that basic information. We save our changes, you'll notice it shows up here. This new project also automatically rolls up to our project master list in the parent side above. Notice project 5. With a little imagination and a basic understanding of SharePoint, you can create a project portal with little to no cost that provides most or all of the elements you need to manage a project. This video series is meant to help you with those two elements, the imagination and the SharePoint understanding. If you've been using the other videos offered by SharePointVideos.com, you've probably gained a good understanding of individual tools like SharePoint Designer, Data View Web Parts, Workflows, and so on. The following videos are full of examples that will help you learn how to put those tools together to connect the dots, so to speak, and solve the specific problems you have as a project manager and we'll probably teach you a few new SharePoint tricks along the way as well. The example site is built completely using SharePoint Foundation and SharePoint Designer 2010, both tools that are absolutely free. If you are using one of the purchased editions of SharePoint, there is even more you can do with InfoPath form services, Excel services, access services, charting web parts, and so forth. So dig in and let us help you connect the dots to solve your problems.